What's up, Kohomi? I'm Emily. And I'm Brooklyn. And, and GPA, GPA TV starts okay. right now. Five, four, three, two. On May 27th through the 29th is... The Heidi Chronicles by GPA Drama. Don't miss it. Guess what, seniors and 8th graders? Key Club is selling handmade graduation ribbon lays. Purchase yours on the Bohomi Web Store on May 29th. If you won't be able to purchase by May 29th, then lays will also be available for sale at the promotion and graduation events. Now into sports. What's up, Wahomi? This is Camila Naibar for GPA TV Sports to tell you weekly sports news. This past Friday was an intense for both the Cold Metal School soccer team. To start off, the Wahomi Junior Varsity team played against Bistec Manet for the championship final at Bista High School. Bistec Manet scored the first goal of the game and were up 2 1 by the end of the first half. However, in the end, the Wahomi JB team continued to work hard and made made a comeback to make the final score 3-2, taking the championship final, finalist title home. After the JB game, it was time for the varsity team to play. Let's take a look at the highlights. At the beginning of the first half, Bissak managed to the lead 1-0. However, Jairo Santos tied the score with a fast breakthrough goal bringing up the, the Wahomis team confident back. In the second half, Jairo Santos later scored the second goal for Wahomis shipping the, the ball over the goalie and making the final touch with a header. However, also in the second half, Bissak managed to score a corner kick when one of the players got in a lucky header, making the score 2-2. And staying the way until the rest of the game, both teams had to go overtime, but not, managing getting, but not managed to get a goal in, making the decision of the winner to be by penalty kicks. Both teams missed one penalty, but made it the rest, making the last penalty between Bistak Manet's captain and Wahomis goalie, Fuliciano Rojas. Let's take a look to see who brought the championship home. Congratulations to all middle school Wahomi soccer team, soccer players for winning the championship and thank you for this wonderful season. Speaking of championships, the girls Wahomi middle school basketball team also played the championship final against Madison Birimde 42-24. In taking the championship home, these girls managed to remain undefeated their entire season with a record of 12 wins and zero loses. This is a truly a great accomplishment for the girls team. Congratulations, all girls basketball players. Why don't we take a look at the experience of having on the field season and winning a championship with starter wing Olivia Rilea. Con congratulations on your on the field season. Thank you. How does that make you feel? Well, personally, I have never won a championship before, so being able to experience that with such an amazing team and friends by my side, I think we were all really grateful to win. How do you and the team feel going into the championship game? Confident? Nervous? Well, I could tell we were all really nervous because, you know, it's a championship game and you're expected to play your best, put everything out onto the court. And so when we started warming up, it was, that was when, like, all the nervousness kind of just, like, started, like, drifting away a little and replacing it with confidence. 
What factors led the team to rise to the top? Well, we all had just amazing, outstanding star players. Um, the, but we also had three coaches who taught us the like the absolute best. I, I was I'm truly grateful for having such an amazing team and coaches to bring us all together as a team and lead us to the top. Congratulations again. Thank you. That's all for this week, well, homie. This has been Camila Naibar and Olivia Rilea reporting for GPA TV. Signing, signing out. Thank you, Camila. Now for a news story by Michael Robinson and Hala Quad. Roll the clip. It's springtime in Seaport Village. The sun is shining, the wind is blowing, and music is playing. Guitar music, that is. Today we're interviewing one of these music players here at Seaport Village. But first, here's a little guitar solo. Because in the weekend sometimes, and when it's like today, like Mother's Day and stuff like that, I can because a lot of people are around. I pay depend on people, you know. Some uh, sometimes I have a special request, and sometimes I play the, the popular uh, rock and roll music and blues, jazz, bossa nova, and stuff like that. Because it's, it's I think it's a uh, uh, place more. Uh, with the view and the people, everything is, is, is I like, you know. Just shopping, fooling around, the weather, and I feel like that. The restaurants, everything is worth good. No, since teenager, since 16, 17. I, in the beginnings, I play uh, by myself, no? but later I take one, back the methods, systems to play guitar, and like that. All the little stuff, I like it. With camera operator Michael Robinson, this has been Holoquat reporting for GPA TV. On Friday, June 3rd, it's the 8th grade dance. Best behavior to stay off the no-go list. Now on to the next news story by Sarah Sequina and Damari Zarate. Roll the clip. Today we are at Seaport Village in San Diego, and it's springtime. Do you know what that means? Warm weather. What goes best with warm weather? Ice cream and smoothies from Ben & Jerry's. Come on and take a look. Will this satisfy your sweet tooth? We have our dirt cake sundae. Um, that one's super popular. Like, we have advertisements outside and inside the store. It's like a really fun like little sundae with Oreos and gummy worms so it kind of looks like it's soil, you know. It's really cute. We have a new non-dairy strawberry marshmallow one. We also have our marshmallow sky. That one's a really cool like blue color. We also have our chewy gooey cookie. Peanut butter cup sundae. That one's really popular. Mine right now is probably strawberry marshmallow. I used to be salted caramel blondie though. Well, anything in a waffle cone. Let's see, tonight though, that one's a really fun flavor. It's a collaboration with Jimmy Fallon. So that was really cool. We also have our Kaepernick one. It's not dairy, you know, it's caramel based. Good too. We have this little thing called the mini room monster. So I don't know if you guys know, but Ben and Jerry's is from Vermont and it's like 16 ounces of ice cream. So it's meant to be shared and it comes in a little bucket and you get to choose your toppings. It comes with a brownie, cookie, bananas. It's basically like a big sundae. Springtime in Seaport is definitely way better at Ben and Jerry's. This has easily satisfied my sweet tooth. Shall we take a bite together? With camera operator Tamari Zerate, this is Sarah Sikinia for parting for GPA TV. Wow, that looks so fun. I might go and check it out. On Wednesday, June 8th, during 5th and 6th period, there will be promotion rehearsal. Don't forget to show up. Now on to our last news story by me and Brooklyn. Roll the clip. It's springtime in Seaport Village. The sun is shining, wind is blowing, there's salt in the air, and tons of new wildlife. Like ducklings, birds, and what makes Seaport Village so special, the beautiful flowers and plants. 
There are some amazing flowers and plants in Seaport Village. Let's see what some Seaport Village visitors have to say about them. Uh, rose. Because I like the various colors. My favorite one is lavender. And um, it was my mother's favorite flower. And uh, she passed away and I now live in her house so I have all of her roses. And every time I look at them I think about her so. Blue. Because I love it. <laughs> my favorite color. Pink! Because <laughs> I love pink. And my favorite flower is a gardenia because they smell really good. My favorite flower is a dahlia and it is because it blooms all summer. I live in some place really cold and it blooms all summer and deer don't eat it. My favorite flower is a gardenia. It's white, I like white flowers, and it smells so pretty. My favorite flower is a rose. I was like a, like a hopeless romantic kind of kid growing up, and I just really loved the imagery that came with it throughout, you know, the fantasy books that I read and movies that I watched. Lilies is my wife's favorite, and the scent is good for my house. I gotta say a palm tree. It reminds me of the beach, being anywhere beachy, tropical. One of my favorites is uh, cherry blossom. Yeah, they're just super beautiful. It's rare to see throughout the year because it only blooms at a specific time, so. There are tons of different flowers and plants at Seaport Village. What's your favorite flower or plant? We are so glad that we got to talk to all of these kind people and show all of you just how pretty Seaport Village really is. With camera operator Brooklyn Winship, this is Emily Baylor, reporting for GPA TV. Wow, the flowers are so pretty. <laughs> now into entertainment with Michael. What's up, my Gohomi Froglodytes? I'm Mike, Michael Russell, and welcome to the Gohomi Entertainment Program. For our first bit of news, Top Gun Maverick is releasing this Friday. This sequel to a classic series is followed up with a comedy bit with James Corden and Tom Cruise flying fighter jets. Roll the clip. Give me Tom, 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 Tom! Oh my God! And performed death-defying stunts. You absolute! <laughs> they flew like majestic birds made more beautiful by the or sun's orange glow against the sky. I found that on the inside of a gas station toilet. Anyways, another thing that happens Friday, Obi-Wan Kenobi is coming out. This series is about the, one of the only Jedi to survive Order 66. I can't wait to see it. It's good to see Disney is starting to take Star Wars in a good direction. Personally, I can't wait for the Spaceball sequel. Well, since today we are short on content, I got a fun fact. When people ask you which came first, orange the color, orange the fruit, tell them it's the tree. The word orange we use comes from the Sanskrit word for the orange tree. So tell them that the color orange is the color is named after the fruit, named after the tree. Well, that's all for this week, Gohomi. Thank you for joining me on our second last show. Back to Emmy G and Brookie B. On Thursday, June 9th at 9 a.m., the eighth grade promotion will be in the amphitheater. Make sure to dress for the occasion, business casual. Families are encouraged and welcome to attend. Well, that's all for this week, Wahomi. I'm Emily. And I'm Brooklyn. And, and this is GPA TV signing out. <laughs>